Welcome back, my dear students, in uh, organizational behavior course. Uh, we reach to uh, chapter four about the uh, motivation concepts. The motivation uh, is an important uh, concept in uh, uh, the OP uh, course. In this chapter, and after studying this chapter, you should be able to. Uh, describe the three key elements of motivation, identify the early theories of motivation and evaluate their applicability today, apply the predictions of self-determination theory to instruct and extract the words, understand the implications Uh, of employee engagement for uh, management, compare and construct uh, goal setting theory and the management by objectives, construct the reinforcement theory and goal setting, demonstrate how organizational justice is a reinforcement uh, theory, then we will uh, discuss the uh, expectancy uh, theory. Uh, the uh, first part of this chapter, uh, we will define the motivation. What's uh, a motivation? Uh, it's the process that accounts for an individual's intensity, direction, and presence um, of uh, effort toward attending a organizational goal. So uh, there. Um, or uh, there are three key elements uh, in our definition uh, are intensity, direction, and the presence, uh, resistance. Uh, the um, intensity describes how hard a person tries. This is the element most of us focus uh, on when we talk about motivation. However, the high intensity is um, uh, uh, channeled in direction that benefits the organization. Therefore, we uh, consider the quality of effort as well as its intensity. Uh, effort directed toward uh, and consistence with the organization goals is the kind of effort we should be uh, seeking. Um, finally, uh, the motivation has the resistance, resistance uh, dimension. Uh, this uh, measures how long a person can <coughs> maintain effort. Motivated uh, individuals stay with uh, a task long enough to achieve their goal. We have uh, four early theories for uh, motivation. The Maslow's hierarchy needs of theory, uh, McGraw's theory X and theory Y, um, Herzberg's two-factor theory, and Maclean's theory of needs. Uh, the uh, first theory uh, is the Maslow's uh, hierarchy of needs include uh, five uh, human needs. The uh, uh, physiological needs, safety needs, social needs, esteem needs, and the self-actualization needs. It's the best known theory of motivation uh, is uh, Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of need. Uh, Maslow hypothesis that within every human being uh, there exists a hierarchy to five needs. The uh, uh, physiological includes the uh, hunger, thirst, uh, shelter, sex, and other body needs. The safety needs uh, include the security and protection uh, from uh, <coughs> physical and emotional harm. And the social needs include the affection, uh, belongingness, and the uh, 
uh, accepting in the friendship and the uh, esteem needs uh, include the internal factors uh, such as uh, self uh, respect autonomy of uh, and achievement and external factors such as status recognition and attention and the self actualization drive to become what we uh, are capable of becoming uh, includes growth achievement our potential and self fulfillment Uh, in uh, the second theory uh, is the two-factor theory. In the two-factor theory, um, McGraws uh, ass assume that there are theory X and uh, theory Y. Uh, Douglas uh, McGraw proposed two distinct views of human being, one basically uh, negative labeled theory X and other basically positive labeled theory Y. After studying managers de uh, dealing with employee, um, McGraws concluded concluded that after uh, studying uh, and after their views of the nature of human being are based on a, center, a certain assumption that mold their behavior uh, and uh, under theory X managers believe employees in uh, 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 are a dislike work and must uh, therefore be directed or even uh, uh, performing and uh, under theory Y uh, in contrast managers assume employees can view work as being natural as a test uh, to uh, play and the uh, uh, employees uh, like work creative seek responsibility and this figure shows also uh, theory X and the um, uh, negative uh, of it the theory Y and the then um, uh, the uh, theory of needs for uh, Macklin uh, the theory of needs um, include only uh, three human needs the need of aff for affiliation the need for power and the need for achievement in the Macklin theory of needs a theory that status achievement power and affiliation are uh, three important needs that help explain motivation uh, the need uh, for achievement include the drive to excel to achieve in relationship uh, to a set of standard and to strive to succeed and the need for power uh, is the need to make others behave in a way they wouldn't have, uh, have behaved otherwise and the need for the affiliation the desire for friendly and Uh, the cognitive uh, evaluation uh, theory includes the proposed uh, and proposed that the introduction of uh, extreme rewards for uh, work pay uh, that was previously uh, uh, in strictly rewarding uh, tends to decrease overall motivation and the uh, verbal rewards increase in uh, uh, strength um, motivation while tangible rewards uh, and
Then uh, the management by objectives or the MPO, uh, it uh, converts overall organizational objectives into specific objectives for work units and individuals. Uh, there are some uh, ingredients, uh, the goals specifically, uh, explicit time period, performance feedback, and participation in decision making, all uh, these <coughs> goals. Uh, in the equity theory, the employee uh, make uh, some comparison uh, between uh, he, uh, between his uh, output and input, and compare it with the with the uh, output and input of other worker. Uh, so the employee uh, weight what they do into job uh, situation uh, input against what they get from it, the output. They compare their input uh, outcome uh, ratio with the input outcome ratio of relevant uh, others uh, by uh, or from this equation, my output uh, divided by my input and compare it with uh, your output divided by your input if it's equal. So there are uh, uh, equity or fairness not equal, there are not equity or there are not uh, The equity theory also uh, uh, include the organizational justice uh, that I can measure it by three dimensions, the distributive justice, uh, uh, procedural justice and interactional justice. Uh, we have three types of justice can uh, measure uh, to uh, perform the organizational justice. Uh, in the end of this chapter, uh, there are the expectancy theory uh, with 3K relationships, the relationship of import with the performance and the relationship between performance and reward and the relationship between rewards and the personal goals. The employee expect that the individual effort will lead to the individual performance and then lead to for the organizational reward and the uh, and this organizational reward re lead to the personal goals um, uh, this uh, expectations uh, from the employee uh, if uh, it achieved uh, the employee should uh, the employee will uh, increase uh, motivation uh, with uh, increased performance, uh, but if it's if this expectations not uh, achieved, the employee will be uh, uh, have a depression and less uh, motivated. Um, uh, so, uh, in uh, the expectancy theory, uh, we uh, reach to the end of this chapter of the motivation concept.